Well, it was a beautiful morning on the Arangai San Juan Road, and uh, my plan to connect to the Cabar Gazette Road unfortunately hit uh, something of a snag. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, so we hit a bit of a snag on that one. I knew there was um, roadworks on that cut through road, but um, I didn't realize how much that done, so I've actually just closed it. So, what you have to do is an alternative. Just come back down the MacArthur Highway uh, heading for Kaba. That's what you see. So you see Mr. Carino on the stand, and then uh, hang a right, and we'll go through this way. So this is where the road would have come out through here, but we're actually going to go this way. Um, this is the, uh, I think it's the Kabagiset Road. I'm not sure what they call it. I'll have to check it out on the map. So, uh, yeah, we'll carry on. So this section's concrete. Um, again, this road used to be dirt for most of it as well, but uh, uh, they've resurfaced the whole thing. And uh, you're good to go. So this is the road that um, I showed you before where the railway bridge was going out, uh, was going to be to Baguio and uh, we're starting to get into some sort of rolling country here but the climbs aren't hugely steep so you should be able to manage this okay. The roads can be a little bit dodgy, they've started to break up again but that's pretty typical. So this one's a bit more rolling than part one. Uh, the climbs aren't hugely steep, there's a couple of steep bits but there's nothing really major again. Right now we're just going along beside the river what's left of it after the dry season there's not much the scenery off to the right is um, it's quite quite pretty there's some really beautiful farmland out here uh, growing up on a farm I can definitely appreciate uh, a good bit of good bit of dirt it can get hot through here too so if you do need a refreshment there are um, there are stores along the way that you can get uh, anything you need Always you could always get an ice cream. That's always a good one. Coming up to a steep climb now. Let's look at the camera away. So just after the elementary school. Uh, whew. <coughs> just after the elementary school, you'll come across a a little sharp climb, it's probably about 15%. And like an idiot, I've still got my 4221 on. Anyway, it brings you into a uh, little forest of jimelinas and bamboo, so it's quite nice and shady through here. Still a little bit of climbing. But pretty soon we're going to descend down uh, towards Gisette, so that'll be it for the huffing and puffing. The scenery looking off this ridge line towards the Cordillera is really pretty. There is a uh, resort along here as well, uh, just before you drop down quite a steep and twisty a little bit bumpy descent so do uh, do take a bit of care on this one and then after the town uh, you're going to cross the river before you reach the uh, crossing at Gisette. So once you reach the crossing you're going to want to turn left and that's going to bring you back onto uh, I call it Nagillian Road I think it's called the Carino Highway uh, and we're heading for Nagillian Town so we're in the Gillian town and uh, I'm going to leave this video here, part two. Uh, and part three, we're going to head uh, into the mountains over behind me. And we're going to cross over the back going towards uh, San Fernando. But for now, I'm just going to leave it here. So uh, cheers and I'll catch you in the next one.